Hello, Francesca Dofi, Spanish tutor from Travel and Education and Training Board. Hola, ¿cómo estás? ¿Qué tal? Again, start always with our greeting, but today, to take a little break from the verb ser, from the verb to be, I've just given you here a few more answers to the question, ¿cómo estás? o ¿qué tal? I've just written here the question, ¿cómo estás? and a few different answers, a few options. The first one you already know, muy bien, very well, bastante bien, is the next one, it means quite well or well enough, bastante bien. Bien, well, no muy bien, and muy mal, very bad. No muy bien, not very well. Muy bien, bastante bien, bien, no muy bien, and muy mal. Also today we are going to do some vocabulary with the starting with the numeros. Now you, remember? This page with the numbers and days of the week, la semana, and the messes. Now, in case you don't have it handy, I just written the numbers here. What I'm going to do is I am going to read them aloud for you and if maybe you want to try and repeat them after me. I'm just going to start here. Uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, Siete, ocho, nueve, diez, and now here, once, doce, if you remember maybe a dozen, and here now, trece, catorce, now this one, remember the Q U is always the Q is always followed by a silent U, so this will be read quince. Remember, like a key, quince. Now this one a little bit harder. Now the next one, dieciséis. Diecisiete. Dieciocho, diecinueve. Just gonna repeat those once again. Dieciséis, diecisiete, dieciocho, diecinueve, and veinte. Now what I have done with these four, 16, 17, 18 and 19, I have just written them down here again and I've just break them down and that will be maybe a little bit easier. If you break the word 16, the FE says, into three words, 10 and 6. The FE says. Diez y siete, ten and seven. Diez y ocho, ten and eight. Diez y nueve, ten and nine. Now, if you have
have a look at the page. Hmm. Veinte. After that, they're all one word. Veintiuno. Veintidós. And so forth. Veintitrés. Veinticuatro. Veinticinco. Veintiséis. Veintisiete. Veintiocho. Veintinueve. And then we come to the top of the page. Treinta. Now, after treinta, thirty and one are three words. Treinta y uno. And treinta y dos. Treinta y tres. Treinta y cuatro. Treinta y cinco. Treinta y seis. Treinta y siete. Treinta y ocho. Treinta y nueve. Cuarenta. Forty. If you have your page, you will see there cuarenta. And you do the same. Cuarenta y uno. Cuarenta y dos. Until fifty, which is red. Cincuenta. Now sixty. It is red. Sesenta. Seventy. Setenta. So it's only one letter difference. So sixty is sesenta, and seventy is setenta. Now eighty. Ochenta. Ninety. Noventa. And. I'm only going to go as far as cien, which is a hundred. So, I am just going to start with veinte and give you again thirty, forty and so forth. Veinte, treinta, cuarenta, cincuenta, sesenta, setenta, Ochenta, noventa, and cien. Cien, that word, cien only happens when it's just a hundred. Because after that it becomes ciento uno, ciento dos. But that is for another day. Now, if you have the page in front of you, what I am going to do is I am going to read you as well the days of the I just show you days of the week. I'm just gonna leave it there in case you don't have it you don't have the page. And I am gonna start by reading the days of the week. Always starts with a Monday in Spanish. And as you can see, they are all in a small letter. So there's it's not a mistake, they don't start with capital letters. So I'm going to start with the first day of the week, La Semana, it's the week. So we have Monday first, always start with Monday in Spanish, in the Spain calendar, Spanish calendar, sorry. Lunes, Martes, Miércoles. Jueves, there is a letter J, very aspire H, jueves. The letter V is read like a B. Viernes. Sábado. And domingo. I hope you can all see that. Now I'm just going to go over the meses. The starting with. Enero, January, Febrero, Marzo, 
abril, mayo, junio, julio, agosto. Now, septiembre you will see a P in brackets in the middle. That means that whichever is easier for you, you can use the P or you may decide not to use it. So you can say septiembre or septiembre. Octubre, noviembre, diciembre. So I'm just going to go over then again, starting from the top. Lunes, martes, miércoles, jueves, viernes, sábado, domingo. And the meses, los meses, enero, febrero, marzo, abril, mayo, junio, julio, agosto, septiembre o septiembre, octubre, noviembre, diciembre. Now, just to finish a little bit of practice for you, I am going to give you a número de teléfono, phone number, and I'm not going to do it too slow, um, maybe you can try and write it down and I will write it then for you in the board afterwards, just here at the bottom. Okay. Are you ready? Preparados? 948-365-2000 Did you get it? I'm going to repeat it for you. Repito. 948-365-501 So, this is the number. 948-365-501 Don't know if you got it. I'm just going to read it for you. 948-365-501. And a little bit faster. 948-365-501. Okay, that's what's going to be all for today. Hopefully, you practice on those numbers. Vale. Hasta luego.